Gamers and game, that's what is going on. My name is Tanek127 and welcome back to another video. And before we get into today's video guys, make sure you're following me on Mixer.com slash Tanek127 where I stream regularly and I'm doing a giveaway of 500 followers. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Tanek127. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, smashing that like button and let's go ahead and get into today's video. In today's video I want to talk about Bless Unleashed. You know why? Because there's a lot of people thinking, oh man. Fantasy stars are on the corner. Tanek said, screw Bless Unleashed, and you know, he's not making videos about it anymore, and da 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 These comments come up, you know, from time to time, and trust me, you know, for those who don't think I noticed those comments, here's your video proving that I noticed those comments. I'm calling you out right now. But anyway, guys, the main reason I haven't made many videos on Bless Unleashed, and, and I'm just going to be straight up honest about this, a lot of people may say otherwise, but there has been absolutely nothing to talk about. Well, but Tanek, they've been posting dev updates, you know, about the the different NPC systems and, you know, PvP and, and stuff like that. You, you mean stuff that I've already known was going to be in this game since last year? <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys, but seriously, there really just hasn't been much to talk about, and that's why you haven't seen a Bless Unleash video from me pretty much since the last beta. And, um, I played a little bit in... The previous weekend stress test but I didn't do much you know I just participated in there a bit you know to feel the game out you know see how things were going you know of course grab my rewards for launch and and stuff like that but that's it but the main issue I do want to talk about is something I do want to discuss with Bless Unleashed that is a concern to me and that's this open world PvP thing and now I'm going to be straight up honest about this and I'm going to say that um, I personally believe this needs to change and I think the developers are making a huge mistake forcing this option on other players. And I'm going to give my solid insight on why I believe that is. And I'm going to say the same thing that I have said to multiple developers. You know how I've spoken about this on multiple occasions. The reason I think this is a bad idea is because one thing people love in MMOs, especially RPGs, which are known for role-playing games is people love options they want their options they need their options the more you limit options in a game that is supposed to be a role-playing game the worse you are making things for the player experience and forcing players into an environment where they can be attacked by other players where there's already a challenging pve meta where it currently is not good like, for example, let's take the, le the last beta and talk about, you know, how slow the leveling was. Everyone knows about the, you know, that, that 15 to 20 gap and stuff like that. Well, imagine trying to go through that leveling process, your, your questing and stuff like that. And there's just some guy, you know, who can randomly just keep kicking your ass because he feels like it. Now, granted, you know, it's up to you to be geared and, and stuff like that to that, to the game, to the point of the, of the game standards at that point in time. I, yes, I get that. But... Having the appropriate gear and being able to fight a challenge against a PvE enemy versus a PvP enemy are two very different things. And the reason I bring that up is because um, I did see that mentioned on Twitter by um, by the developers or community manager and, and stuff like that. And I, I can agree with that statement to an extent, but you, you have to remember, you know, gear and everything, that's going to help, you know, that's going to make the experience slightly better but you know if there's a player who's kicking your ass that you just can't beat there's there's not much you can do about that you know unless you get buddies to help you and stuff like that and you have so many people with so many different mindsets that go into these MMOs there are people you know that love to play in groups there are people that love to play solo and stuff like that you know there are solo players you know who could have a really bad time with this because they always get jumped or or something like that I, I don't know and another thing about um about Blessa as well as a lot of people look at this game as an alternative to Black Desert. A lot of times when people compare this game to another MMO, they compare it to Black Desert. I think it's probably because, you know, the game's visuals, the art style. If you had to compare this to another MMO, the closest thing probably would be BDO. And a lot of people who are coming from BDO are probably looking at Bless as an alternative because they don't like the experience that they're getting in BDO. Well, let me inform the blessed developers of something. Part of the experience that people hate 
in Black Desert is the forced open world PvP. Now, people who love Black Desert, they obviously love that experience about it. They love that kind of thing. But I really just think Bless not giving people that option between a PvP and PvE server, I think that's a huge mistake. And I really think that this is going to um, cause some controversy for the game later on down the line. Now that's just that's just my personal opinion. I know the developers know their game. I know they know their player feedback and everything very well. But I personally, you know, just wanted to, um, wanted to stress my opinion on this. Now, if they decide, to, you know, to balance this game with PvP and PvE servers later on down the line, make sure you know things like dungeon queues and stuff like that are not split. Like for example, say if someone's in a PvE server and then there's another guy in a PvP server and they both queue for a level 15 dungeon. Those two players should be able to play together in the same dungeon with no problem because they both have the same goal to complete that PvE activity. For example, if a player from the PvE server decides to queue up for a PvP activity and a player from the PvP server queues up for a PvP activity, those two players should be able to play together because you know they have the same goal. But when you mix and you force all these type of players into one server, you're mixing a billion different people with a billion different goals and that, that's just going to clash. And limiting these kind of options in an MMORPG, just to my opinion at least, isn't a smart thing. Now like I said guys, this is just my personal opinion. Y'all let me know how y'all feel down in the comments below. But anyway guys, y'all enjoyed this video? Smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy Tanek127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out. Take care. Stay right where you are and don't go closer If you haven't picked it up, it's